everyone. My name is Zach. This is the Sawyer Station. Eddie out. And uh, we'll take a few moments just to kind of step back, take an Eddie out, reevaluate what's been going on this week, and really just try and dive into some final points of our, of our ordering system and some questions that we've seen throughout the week. So right now, a lot of folks are concerned with being able to get the right oars for, for their boat packages and that kind of thing. And and maybe start to see some tightening up of budget. So we're, uh, we want to give you some options on that. And then also just really want to, I know many of you may be only watch this first few seconds of the video. So a uh, couple things real quick. Um, those of you that have been taking advantage of the instant messenger on our website, thank you very much. You I'm sure can attest that that's the quickest way to get real quick answers to finalize some details on your ordering. So please continue to use the instant messenger feature works really well on, at business hours, you know, Monday through Friday, eight o'clock to five o'clock. Um, we're there and glad to answer all your little questions and make sure we can get those little details to you. Um, the other thing is we have some great things coming up in August. So we will have some free shipping promos coming up. So watch that, watch your email. If you're on our email list, you'll be getting info on that coming up. We'll also have a photo contest coming up in August. So we're celebrating 55 years, and so we're going to have uh, 55 days of photos. So we'll have weekly giveaways, prizes. So pay attention to that. Make sure you get your photos out there and get some good, uh, good, good action shots for us. A couple of things we want to dive into is really just, um, you know, what are the right ores for what application? And when you're choosing ores, the things you need to really kind of consider is, first of all, kind of, what is the application? What are you going to be using it for? And buy for what you're, you're using it for, for over 50% of the time. So are you primarily fishing? Are you primarily running whitewater? Are you primarily just doing uh, mellow family float trips? You know, what is that specific piece that you're doing the most of? And buy for that in mind. And then, you know, if you break it down into value, performance, and durability, those are a few other characteristics that make it really easy to kind of narrow down to what you're going to get. And really in the, in the Sawyer line, the most economical product for ores is our Polcat ore. The Polcat is a full composite ore. It comes with exchangeable handles. So you can put in counterbalance. You can put in standard grip. You can put in small grip. You can put in Gilman grips, and then it comes with a basic Duramax blade. And that is really your foundation. So if you start there, then start putting into some of those, some of those pieces into the equation that that's your shaft. What makes a difference on a composite or is the blade. So the Polcat initially is, is paired up with a Duramax blade. That's a fairly affordable package. But if you want to start there and maybe get a little bit more performance, you're talking about swing weight. So there's a couple of things you can do to enhance that swing weight of the Polcat is one, you can upgrade to counterbalance handles if that's what you want to do, or more preferably upgrade the blade. Actually, by putting the Sawyer Furlam blade on your Polcat, that's gonna lighten your swing weight and also give you a more floaty blade. And then also by putting like a Dynalite blade on the Polcat shaft, Polcat Dynalite, absolute sleeper in the line, best value on, on our whole line for an oar. And you can get that with the, with the Dynalite wide, the Dynalite narrow or the Dynalite shoal. And we've actually made that package and put that package together on our website. So the Polcat Dynalite would definitely be the, the primary, you know, best, best package for a little higher performance, but more price conscious. Now, as you move up the line, you're looking for more performance. That's when you definitely want to look at going to the MX series or the MXG. And a lot of our outfitters run the MXG and the MXG is a full carbon fiber weave and that ore shaft is really gonna stiffen up. So you're getting that performance. You're also getting that durability. It's gonna take a lot more of that impact, much more than the Duramax or than the Polcat. But 
the piece to kind of keep in mind is, once again, what are you gonna do with the blade? So you can run a Duramax blade on an MX G shaft, but that's a little bit more shaft than blade. What we recommend there is if you're gonna go with an MXG, I'm gonna go with a Dynalite Extra Duty. And the reason you wanna go with the Extra Duty because you're gonna get the extra layers and extra stiffeners into the blade to have the blade match with, with the shaft. And so the MXG, pretty much you can go from Duramax all the way up to Dynalite XD. We don't really recommend the VLAM blade for an MXG. Reason being is that the MXG is the stiffest ore that we make and the VLAM is the softest and the lightest blade we make in, in that inch and five eighths diameter. So we're not discussing here bandits and I'll touch on that in just a minute, but basically you are under blading your ore setup if you go with the VLAM on there. And we have seen that a few times where folks do order that VLAM with the MXG. Not a good fit. We will reach out to you before we fulfill that. We really prefer not to put that blade on the MXG shaft. So just kind of keep that in mind. Try and keep compatible parts. And that's really what today is all about. It's really compatible parts to all your polecats. As polecats can go with any of the blades in our line. MXGs goes up with everything except VLAMs. And then we get to the Bandits. You know, the Bandit is one of the most high performance ores out there on the market. It's really designed for anglers. It's really preferred by anglers. And it has the lightest swing weight by design because the overall ore basically weighs about four pounds. So just kind of narrowing into what is the bandit for, right? The bandit is for continuous rowing, seven to eight hours a day. That's basically, you know, if you're getting out and you're fishing different runs, that's something you want to look at the bandit. If you're running, if you're running the, you know, multi-day gear boat, 16 foot boat, tons of gear. And we see these pictures all the time, people are running bandits. That's, that's not really the application. You know, you really want to think about, you know, once again, am I using the compatible components for what I'm doing? And um, MXGs and MXSs are really your primary workhorse in the Sawyer line. Choose the blade that is accordingly so you get the nice swing weight. If you're going to put, a, put together a fishing boat, look to a pair of bandits, super light swing weight. And so hopefully that helps out. That's just a little bit of information on compatibility in our line buying the right tool for the job. And then also pay attention to our quick ship features, use that instant messenger, watch your email for offers we're gonna be sending out and get out on the water. This has been a Sawyer Eddie out and we will see you on the river.